everybody, Mr. Mioli here, and welcome back to another episode of Birthdays The Beginning. In the last episode, we went and got ourselves a bunch of new dinosaurs. We've got our T-Rexes back, our Velociraptors down here, our little feathery, chickeny looking friends. We got our Trax, we got our Brachios, I think these guys here are, and we've also got a bunch of new flying dinosaurs flying around our worlds as well. And if you're wondering where the webcam is today, I have an exam tomorrow, so I've decided to just cut the webcam out for today. I'm not looking my best. I'm actually a little bit sick, unfortunately, so um, trust me, you don't want to be looking at this ugly mug today. But uh, today, let's hope we can finally, well, we can continue to get some awesome creatures, awesome dinosaurs, and just awesome everything. Our world is starting to become very, very populated, and um, we want to keep that trend up. We want to keep moving in the right direction, I suppose. So we're gonna begin with a quick old speed up, a little time lapse, and we're gonna see if our world wants to bring any, there we go already. We've got one new thing, the Calamites, an Arikyoterops, a Tyrannomimimus. We're getting a bunch of new stuff already. Whoa, Vegamus, we got ducks already. We're already going down the birth bird pathway. It's weird seeing dinosaurs and birds and protozankluses. I got a feeling we're going to be getting pretty close to unlocking some, some new things that we've never actually seen in our world before. And I'm super... What do you know? There you go. There you go. We have ourselves another brand spanking new creature that we have never found before. We got to go in and check out what it is before we go and kill it off. So, where exactly is this thing? It's up here. It's up here at the top. All the way up here. But what is it? What are we looking for? Is it a, is it an insect? Oh no, it's all the way up here. It's all the way over here. In fact, it's on the other side of this, this waterfall. Where are we? What am I looking for over here? There's a, is it new butterflies? Oh, it's new butterflies. Yay. How exciting. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's one more thing crossed off of the list. Oh God, these waterfalls, man. I forget how big they are. By the way, what happens up here? Like, okay, I was wondering this. I thought, because in our previous world, we couldn't go high enough to create mountains. We could only get to the point of highlands. But what do you know? All the way up here, we actually have mountain. This is mountain up here. It's, it's a, I guess it's a terrain, a biome, or whatever you want to call it. We actually haven't reached before. We also went and got ourselves this, a big boy right here. What's he called again? A Tyrannomimus. So we've got two different species, sea species, 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 can't even speak English right now. Two different species of Tyrannosaurus rexes. Let's collect a few of these little items. There's a bunch of them spawning up around the world. Just filling our world with little sparkle sparkles. Now, I don't know what to do. Do we go zoom out and let time go by some more because... It seems to be working for us so far. Or oh, first, before we do all of that, do we head into our library and see where we're at as far as this timeline goes? Or wh which directions we can sort of head in now? One thing I wouldn't mind knocking off, and just because it's sitting there all on its own doing nothing, is this one here. But they spawn in minus five to five degrees shallows, which I don't think we're going to have possibly in this episode. We've also got, I guess, this thing over here, which it actually fits into our... Yeah. Oh, we don't have these ones here yet. That's what's up. So, if we can get a shallows of 13 to 23 degrees, we could probably get the wagon of Philalum. I think I said that right. And from there, we can go and get some of these things, which, I don't know, it's slightly less exciting because it's coral, but it'd be kind of cool if we got that. We've also got the, the, the Fleophacops, the spider, which has turned into the Argiope. Which, how do we get it into these guys here? A spider that appears throughout cold habitats, it emerged as as it taking the place of the Argiope. So we have to kill off the Argiopes, or we can just, I got a better idea. Something we haven't done yet. We gotta find some of these little Argiope guys, cause they're tiny, where are they at? We gotta find some of these little spiders. I actually don't think I've seen any around our world. What is up with this area over here by the, oh, we've got a little Archaeops as well. But what happens over here? Why don't we have much life? Like, what is the difference with this side of our world compared to that side? And by the way, look at all of our plesios. One, two, three, four. In our old, old world, we only had one of them at a time. So our populations are, are absolutely blossoming. They're booming. We've got our moses down here as well. And I also have, I've got a heat stone here. So this, this sea out here is 49 degrees. Maybe I'll go and remove that. Maybe I'll go and add something cold. 
or maybe not. All I wanted to do was find some of those little spidery guys. Where are the little spidery guys at? They gotta be through here somewhere, right? Or do they, do they, oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think this is the one I was looking for. The Argiope, yes! So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna go and throw down one of our little evolution stones on him. We're gonna throw an evolution on him. And then I'm also gonna throw down a mutation stone on the other one. Then we're gonna zoom out, and this should give us two new types of spiders, if we did it correctly. So let's have a look. There they both, they possibly both are? We're gonna go in and have a look anyway. I know we definitely got two new things. I mean, I can only assume they're both spiders. Here we go, we've got ourselves the yellow spider. Why not? Awesome, the Nephila. And we also have, what's over here? <gasps> the blue spider! We've got a blue spider as well! Oh, he jumps around. Wow, it's a little jumping spider. That's kind of cool. An Aborealis. And another Levelus! Wow! That's awesome. That's awesome. We can do more land manipulation as we go now. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's have a look and see what else we can get. Because if we can keep on evolving and mutating some of these species... Oh! Before this guy here dies, we're going to have to evolve him. It's an Anophilia that is adapted to cold desert habitats. It mainly preys on thrips. I don't think that'll be hard for us to get. We can get that. So we're gonna have to throw down an evolution stone on our yellow guy. And what else can we get while we're doing that? Something over here maybe? Oh, we do have our Ophiroids. Mmm. But I, I want this one right here. It's a star shaped, okay, that lives in very hot shallows. Okay, unlike the, ex it's 41 to 51 degrees. I satisfy those conditions, man. I've got shallows out of 40, 41 to 51 degrees, right over here. In fact, it's 51 on the dot. So that should happen. That should We should have that any second. But what we're going to do, we're going to throw an evolution stone on one of these little yellow guys. Yeah, the only thing is, I kind of lost him. Where are your little yellow spiders gone? I can't even remember where I spotted the little guy. There he is. There he is. Okay. Because I reckon there'd only be one of them in our world. Let's go. We don't have many evolution stones left, but we're going to go throw it down, zoom out of here, and see if we can get his evolution. We got it. Did we get it? I don't know. Both other spiders just died. Did we get it though? What if we got it and now I'm gonna kill it by keep on cycling through the world? I don't know. Okay. Okay, we better get in there, right? Just in case. Yeah, you know what? We gotta go in. We gotta go in just in case. Did we get anything new? Nope, there's no little pink dots on my screen. Okay, so nothing new from that little uh, attempt. And I don't think we're going to get them either because... Yeah, they're gone now. They're gone. They're extinct. They're nowhere to be seen. So we're going to have to redo that another time. What else can we get, though? What else can we get? We can evolve our Leptolepis into something down here. Or even better. You know what we haven't done? You know what I really, really, really want to do? I want to evolve our Plesio into whatever he's going to turn into. And to get that... It's just, uh, it's just a shallows. 13 to 23 degrees. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to do. 13, a 13 to 23 degree shallows. Well, this is shallows over here. I don't want to go and interrupt our other fellas over there though. So what I got to do is throw down a cold stone. And they should just migrate on their own. Acanthotes. I don't know what they are, but we got them. Are we going to get our, our Plesio guys? Can we get them? Can we get our Plesio guys or what? It doesn't look like it's going to let us have them. It doesn't want us to have them. All right, that's fine. That's fine. But what what like, what like temperature is it over here now where we threw that little stone down? Because it had to be like 23 degrees. Now it's 22. Is that right? Is that about where I wanted it? Yeah, it should be fine. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to take, we're going to take the cheaty option out of this. By just throwing down an evolution stone on our guy. Our big plesio. Oh, we'll throw on this guy over here. He's sitting still. He's at least sitting still so I can do it. All right, let's zoom out. Let's get ourselves this plesio. No. Maybe we don't need it. Oh, it's a micro Vega Vagus. Vega Vagus. A Spenaconodon. I think that's one of the new snakes. Well, it's not a new snake. We've had the snake. It's just a, it's a snake. We haven't had snakes up until now. It looks like, though, we may actually need to go and drop a mutation stone on these guys. It's not actually an evolution stone. 
which is fine because I got a lot of them. I got 41 of them left. What else can we drop one of them on? Let's have a look. We can go onto one of these guys, I guess. Triceratops. I'm pretty sure we can mutate him into whatever this is. It's a mid-elevation mid hot climate though, so... Ah, uh, we should be able to get that. We don't have the vultures yet. We do have the Archaeops. How do we get these guys? We have to cool the place down a little bit to get the Vegavagus into this guy here, though. Water surface. That's a weird one. Anyways, I'll throw a mutation down on him just to see what happens. And maybe we can get these Paris Miners instead. I don't really care, but you know what? We're going to do exactly that. Where are our little Vega Vega Vegas's? Vega Vagus. Here we go. There's plenty of them out here in the sea. Okay. All right, you buddy. Um, can I, can you just sit still? Can you sit still while I, while I put a mutation stone on you, buddy? I don't think I can hit him. There we go. All right. We're going to zoom out. We'll see if we can get a little plesio, friends. Let's have a look. Okay. It's the Nessie. We've got the Nessie. <gasps> oh my God, it's a Nessie. It's a, lo it's a Loch Ness Monster. It's the Loch Ness Monster. Yes. How do I collect him? It's not giving me the option. It's not letting me do it. I want to collect you. C capture him. Put him into my Pokedex. We've got the Nessie. An animal similar to the Plesiosaurus that emerged in very wide flat shallows. It had adapted to cool climates and was named by humans. You bet he, ha you bet he was. He's the Loch Ness Monster. We've got ourselves the Loch Ness. You better not be dying on me now, buddy. You better not be dying on me now because I want I want to keep you. I want to take very good care of you. Please don't, please don't move on. We also need to go and zoom out and see if, well, hopefully he stays alive for a start. But let's see if we get our little duck evolution as well. Nessie died. Well, that didn't last long. That's very disappointing. But what do you expect? I, I pretty much expected exactly that. We got our Nessie. We captured our Nessie. Unfortunately, Nessie didn't want to hang around though. Nessie was ready to move on. <laughs> the myth of the Nessie, whether he's real or not, continues. So I guess we can mutate our Triceratops and we'll see if he wants to turn into anything. But apart from that, that's like the last dinosaur we really need. Or well, that we need to, that's the, that's the last dinosaur until we have them all. Yeah, let's jump in and do that. We gotta go, no, 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 no. Don't see him out. We're going in, we're moving in. Okay, where's my Triceratops? Where's my little tracky friends at? Here we go. I'm gonna mutate you, buddy. I'm gonna mutate you like you've never been mutated before. And hopefully, you mutate to the thing I want you to mutate to. Let's find out if it does. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, baby. Oh, I think that's the one. It's the Arhinoceratops. What an awesome name. He's a rhino. But where does he live? He lives over here. In the hot climates. Oh, he literally is a desert. He's a desert triceratops. Look at him. A rhinoceratops. I hope he survives. I mean, we've got... We've got the climate to take care of him, so... I think we should be fine with him. I think he'll actually survive. Hopefully a little bit longer than the Nessie, but we'll find out pretty soon. Um, okay, what can we do over here? We've got our Archaeoterrips. I wonder if we can evolve him. Very high altitudes in hot climates. I mean... Maybe we don't need to do that. 35 to 41 degrees in a mountain, right? Well, we have mountains all the way up here now. 31 to 40 something degrees. Well, it's pretty cold up here because it's a mountain. That makes sense. That does make sense. But how can we heat this place up a little bit? You know how we can do that? We can throw down a heat stone. Let's do exactly that. Um, yeah. Let's heat this baby up. 36 degrees. And I think the moisture's there as well. So let's see if we can go and get these guys spawning in. Something? We got something. Our rhinoceratops died though. What? I thought we had those guys sorted. Uh, did, did, am I getting anything at the top of this mountain though? Let's slow down. Let's find out. I'm going the wrong way through the menu, but what skis Now, what was I trying to spawn in? We've got our Archaeoterrips. We need a 35 to 41 degree mountain though. How do you even get a hot climate that high up? 35 to 41. Interesting. And then 20 to 51 moisture. Let's find out if we've got that. Come on, I just want to be over there. Send me over there. Ah, we might as well collect some stuff as we go. Okay, 
How hot is it up here? It's probably not hot enough, and the moisture is way too hot. Or it's way too moisturous, I, sh I guess we should call it. So, we'll throw down some sunlight. Hopefully dry up the moisture a bit. Um, what else am I going to have to do? I think I might need to just raise some of this. Get a bigger mountain going, maybe. That way, I don't know, there's a higher chance of things spawning. Problem is, that's going to decrease the temperature of the world. And we're going to increase it. So we're going to also have to go and drop some land over here. And what better place than right about here? Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. And we're going to drop it. I don't want to go down too much, though. You know what? We're going to keep that at 15 degrees. And then I'm going to go and drop this a little bit. A little bit more. To 25. I didn't say... Do, I'm, I said degrees. I meant it um, height. Okay. Did I just say I meant it? I meant it the... Oh, my God. What is wrong with my English? I told you. I've had my head in the books all day long, and my brain just ain't functioning properly right now. Let's drop these a little bit. Let's drop that a little bit. And a little bit more. You know what? All the way down. I like to get the ground all a little bit proper looking. Um, you know what? This has got to come up a little bit. And then all of this is going down, baby. All of this is going down. Okay, where are we at now? 41 degrees across our entire world. Drop that a little bit. And a little bit more. And I'll bring you down a little bit. Let's bring this down to 40. I know it's very deep, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we're down at 40 now. I want to go drop this part as well. You know what? We're going all the way down. We're going all the way down. I want our world to get super duper hot. And to do that, we're just going to have to do this. Nope, not like that. Okay. Are we getting any temperature changes or what? We're not. Where's the temperature changes at, bro? We're still only at 41 degrees maximum. And I guess we'll drop this little section down as well. Yeah, all of this down. We're not going to go all the way, though. There we go, 42 degrees. That's what I was looking for. And you know what? A big chunk over here as well. Like that. Perfect. Perfection. There we go. I love it. 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 We got some little star, star little fellas down there as well. All right. Okay. And a big chunk over here. And another big chunk over here. And bring this down too. There we go. And I guess I'll bring this part up. Okay. 42 degrees. Let's zoom out. We have to re, I guess, gain some of this HP. And we'll see if we spawn anything new into this world. Nothing new just yet. The micro Vega versus. All right, here we go. Let's speed things up. There we go. I don't even know what we just got. I wasn't even thinking we would get anything, but we have two new species in our world right now. And they're both up here in the hot mountain. Oh, we got our track. We got our track. Is this the track? No, 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 no. We weren't trying to get a track. <gasps> we got butterflies. <laughs> so we weren't even trying to get these guys, but we got them anyway. And there is something else up here. What am I looking for? Oh, <gasps> it's the bird we were trying to get. I didn't even have to use an evolution stone. We got him. We got him fair and square. The comp, Compsoterix. In fact, I wanted to know his like living standards. I wanted to know what we could do to the world and keep him alive. Because hopefully we can keep him going a little bit. We got this guy. I think I wanted this. No, I want that one. I want the Argentavis so we can get these birds as well. That's all right. We'll find a way to do it. All right. I'm so happy we got this guy, though. That's awesome. This is like the bird episode. We're getting all sorts of flying things like butterflies and compsoterixes and ducks and chickens. Whatever you want to call them. Little baby chickens. Um, all right. Let's see if we can get the RG before the end of this episode. We're going to need 13 to 23 degrees at land level. The only thing is... Oh, these guys here adapt to a low temperature. So we can they won't die if we remove the heat stone. So that's good. 3 or 13 to 23 degrees. All right, all right, all right. At land level, which is over here. So I'm going to throw something down right here then. 13 to 23 degrees. We're going to have to drop this to oh, 20 degrees. So let's go throw down the medium ice stone. Zoom out of here and see if we can get our RGs. I think, I think all the guys I just said I was going to try and not kill just died. They all just died. 
Our new little birdie friends died. How sad is that? It's okay. It's okay. We're losing a lot of stuff. How about we, uh, how about we get something? How about we get our Argies? I want my Argies, though. Why are things dying? Oh, oh, man, it's not the one. I got excited for a second there. Oh, I think it's the same. Blue Grammar? Not quite. The guy, guy, the Giga Brachio, the Dinoceratops is back as well. The Micro Terrace, the Deserto Terrace. We're getting some things now. It's probably all the stuff we just killed off though. All right, all right, all right. We're not getting our Argies, but I really, really, really want our Argies. I swear we satisfy the conditions. Oh, we got trees over here now as well. Okay, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where is my, where is my little guys? My little friends, my little, hmm. Oh, what are you doing out here, Giga? Okay, I want to find, after we collect a few of these little things, where are our little Archeops fellas have gone to? There's so many flying guys around, it's hard to spot them. They're just hiding amongst, they're so disguised. Where are my little Archeos? Look at this like insect place over here, it's ridiculous. There's so many insects. There are so many butterflies. I wasn't even trying to create a little bug. We created a little bug paradise, accidentally. But the main question remains, where is my, my Archaeoterops? I don't even know if I say that right, but I like the way I say it. And I'm gonna keep saying it that way. Let's, uh, let's go check out the library. Maybe we accidentally killed them. These guys here, we got a lot of them. I just need to like evolve them. Just a straight up evolution into an Argy. Sometimes all we gotta do though, is zoom out, let time roll for a bit, and then jump back in and, and see if they've appeared somewhere. All right, we're getting some stuff now though. And we're losing stuff as well, of course. You know, you're three steps forward, two steps back. It works a bit like that, doesn't it? But the question remains, here he is, we found him. I knew he'd be around here somewhere. So if we go throw an evolution stone on him, hopefully we get what we're trying to get. Where is it? There it is, okay. Archaeoterps. Please evolve into an Argentavis. Got him. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. The only thing is we're gonna have to find him. Cause he's not gonna like show up on our map. We've got to find the little guy. He's gonna be up here somewhere. And I can't speed up time cause there's a good chance he'll die if we try to. Thing is, you know what we should probably do? We should probably find the, uh, the living standards that he likes to live in. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. At what height of land does he like? Just regular land, 13 to 23 degrees. So he should be living sort of near our Archaeops, I would think. Unless he's decided to come over here for some reason. Like he's not that, he's not that big of a guy either. He's probably right in front of my eyes and I'm missing him. It always happens. And then I read through the comments of this video and you guys are laying into me because I was staring at him while trying to find him. And I get all embarrassed. Ah, it's a little spider over there. I thought it was him. I'm getting, oh man. Like this would be the place, no? Over here. Yeah, right here. This this should be where he is. It's the only like cold place that he would really want to live in. But I ain't seeing him. Where's our little, he's, he's in the world somewhere. Hey little Argy friend. Hmm, maybe he's flying. Maybe he's flying somewhere. It's like spot the Argy. It's like, Find the needle in the haystack. It's an impossible task. Knowing my luck, he's probably nowhere where I'd expect him to be. But nah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can't find him. I apologize if I'm staring at him. It's like, where's Wally? Spot the, spot the dinosaur amongst the rest of them. Let's get out of here and see if, uh, see if we're lucky enough that he doesn't die. Oh, he's decreasing. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. All right, let's get in there before he does die. Let's see if he's moved at all. Where is he though? I've got to find him. Cause I got to throw a stone down on him before he dies. Is there a way to locate a guy without like, I don't know, without seeing, like finding them or not? Do you have to do it manually? Do you need to like, do you need to find them or is there a way to just like search for them? I wish, to oh, there he is. What's he doing up here? You're a land dinosaur. All right. So, I wanted to go throw down an evolution stone on him. 
So we're going to very, very quickly do that before he goes and dies. Argentavis. You know what? I'm going to throw two stones down on him just so we get the right one. Let's see if he, got, he wants to evolve. He's going to die. I know that much. There we go. He has. He's done exactly what I wanted him to do. Now we've got to find him. Where's he at? He's up here. He's up here. Is it this guy? No, we've already found our little blue flying friend. Is it you? What do we have here? It's a gymno... <laughs> a gymno gypsis. A gymno gypsis. Gymno gyps. And he's definitely going to die very, very soon. And we don't want that. If we speed up any time, he's gone. So we need to make sure we get his evolution before that. He looks like a vulture. That's definitely a vulture. But we got to get this one here before that happens. A bird of prey that lives in the savannah. The vulture feeds on the remains of other animals. So I need to go... And I guess evolve. I, I gotta throw the stones down. So where's he at? My throat is about to break, by the way. This cold, this sickness, it's it's doing it's not doing good. <laughs> I'm not coping well with it. But here we go. Before I run out of voice, let's evolve this vulture, the last guy for this episode. I don't even know how to select him. He's flying way, way high. To a point I can't reach him. There we go. Hold on. Alright. All right, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. Okay, here we go. Evolve! Okay, and do we... i got to drop the other one just to be safe as well. Let's do that too. Okay, we're good. So we should be able to get it. Here we go. We got it! It's the Gyps Fulvus. Where's it at? It's up in the mountains as well. It's right up the top there. Look at it. It's like a white... It's like, I guess it's a vulture. I think that's what it said, right? A bird of prey that lives in... Oh, yeah. the vo It's a vulture. It's a vulture. It actually is a vulture. So we've unlocked all of the birds today. All the little flyy fellas. I guess there's still some sorts of birds. All the, uh, all the guys that evolve from the ducks and stuff like that. But for now, we are going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Birthdays The Beginning. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead, punch the thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode very, very soon. Bye for now.